different things now. It's many of them, right? But the one mm -hmm. the most that I've seen um, affect my community is this notion that human trafficking is always like this violent, quick crime, like people driving in white vans and they're snatching women or your Uber driver is a part of this big chain of predators. And, you know, that that's a myth that it's usually some type of kidnapping or some kidnapping or physical altercation. Because in actuality, it's typically some type of manipulation or some type of psychological means where they're coaching and coercing your children. And, you know, they're convincing them and seducing them into the commercial sex industry to exploit them. So that's, you know, I'm sure it's not just in my African American community, but it's really huge in our community because we have this tendency to think that it's something violent or even the tendency to think that our young girls and young boys, boys are just being these little fast, hot tail little girls. And, you know, we really have to move past those myths because myth is not true. It's, it's not always, now, can it be violent? Can it be a kidnapping? Yes, I am not saying that, but there's more than likely it is your neighbor. It is the guy who owns the gas station down the street. No harm against gas stations, but you know, it basically it could be anyone. So you have to just really know your children, know what they're doing, know what they're doing on social media, because it's going to be this manipulation and coercion of the situation to get your your child into sex trafficking. 